Hello everyone, this is our Cisco Packet Tracer install walkthrough video. This is the I'm Learning page. It will show you any classes you're currently enrolled in. Now if you don't have any classes here just yet, that's okay. You'll be able to experience the awesomeness of NetAcad later on. Here we are, let's go to the top right corner and hover over resources. Then we'll go down and click on Download Packet Tracer. When you click on Download Packet Tracer, we need to scroll down just a little bit and we'll see the latest version of Packet Tracer. We have two options for Windows, one for Linux, one for Apple iOS, and one for Android. There's two versions for Windows because you need to know if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit installed. If you don't know which one you have, you'll do some research and come back and click on the appropriate link. I have a 64-bit version of Windows installed, so I'll click on the 64-bit download link. When I click on it, I might get a pop-up. This depends on your browser. For me, I'm going to click Save File, and I'm going to click OK. The download will complete. Go to your Downloads folder and locate that zip file that was downloaded to your machine. Because it is a zip file, we will have to right-click on it and click Extract. When we click Extract, we get a pop-up. It'll tell us the directory it's going to extract to. We'll go ahead and click Extract. It's a rather quick extract. There's only two files inside of here. When that completes, it'll open up that extracted folder, and here we see the Packet Tracer installer and a bin file. Double-click on the Packet Tracer installer, and now the installer is going to begin. I will click on I accept the agreement and click Next. Leave the default directory, click Next. I'll see the name for the Start Menu entry, and I will click Next. And here I see options, Desktop Shortcut, as well as Quick Launch. Quick Launch is the same as the taskbar. I can go ahead and leave those as they are, or change them, and click Next. We see our settings for our install, and now we can click on the Install button. The Cisco Packet Tracer install is a relatively quick install. This will vary based off of the machine that you are using. For the sake of the video, I'll pause the video and we'll continue in a little bit. When Cisco Packet Tracer finishes installing on our machine, we're going to get a pop-up, and that's Packet Tracer integrating with our web browser. It's just going to be an OK button, and it's really short and quick. So here's my install completing, and here's the pop-up. Packet Tracer for exam purposes will implement with the browser. We can go ahead and click OK. By default, there's a checkbox that's selected for Launch Cisco Packet Tracer. We'll leave that set and we'll click Finish. When we do this, we're going to get a new page that's going to load up. This is our Packet Tracer loading screen, and then we're going to get an authentication page. When Packet Tracer asks us to authenticate, we'll be using our NetAcad email address, which is just the email address in your NetAcad profile, or the username you have associated with NetAcad. For me, I'll put in mine, followed by my correct password for NetAcad. From there, I can click Login, and this will then bring up Cisco Packet Tracer. Now that we have successfully authenticated, Cisco Packet Tracer opens up, and we are good to go to build our own networks complete our lab assignments, and have some fun.